Hello everyone. Today we are going to design an actually loaded short square column. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a short square column to carry a factored axial load of 3000 kN using M25 concrete and Fe415 steel. The factored load PU is given as 3000 kN. FCK is given as 25 and FI is given as 415. Now we are going to find the area of the steel. Let us open this code book page number 71. To find the area of the steel we can use this formula. But to use this formula there is a condition. The minimum eccentricity should not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension. Let us assume that the minimum eccentricity does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension. Then let us open the page number 48. The cross-sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement shall be not less than 0.8% and not more than 6% of the cross-sectional area. So the area of the steel should be between 0.8 and 6. Let us provide 1% of steel. We know that the gross area will be equal to area of the concrete plus area of the steel. Area of the steel is 1 percentage. So AAC is equal to 1 upon 100 into AG. So we will get 0 0.01 AG. From this we can say that AC is equal to AG minus ASC. AAC is 0 0.01 AG. So AG minus 0 0.01 AG. In this way for AC we will get this. Now in this formula let us apply all of the values. For AG we will get this. We know that AAC is equal to 0 0.01 AG. So for AAC we will get 2365.84 mm square. For the gross area we have got this. We are designing a square column. In the square column all of the sides will be having the same dimension. Let us keep the dimensions as a D. The area will be D into D. So it will be D square. Let us equate D square to the gross area. In this way for D, we will get 486.4 millimeter. Let us round that to 500 millimeter. So let us provide a square column having the size as 500 millimeter into 500 millimeter. Now let us verify it is an actually loaded column. Let us open this code book page number 42. This clause states that all columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity equal to the unsupported length of column upon 500 plus lateral dimensions upon 30 subject to a minimum of 20 millimeter. In the question the unsupported length is not given. In this case, we can take the minimum eccentricity as 20 mm. Let us open the page number 71. The minimum eccentricity as per 25.4 should not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension. Here both of the lateral dimensions are 500 mm. 0 0.05 into 500 we will get 25. So the minimum eccentricity does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension. So this is an actually loaded column. For area of the steel we have got this. Now using trial and error method we can find the area approximately equal to this area. I have given 8 numbers of 20 mm dia bars so that I am getting approximately equal area to this area. So let us provide 8 number of 20 mm diameter bars. You can try with the different number and a different diameter but it should follow some conditions. Let us open this code book page number 48. The minimum number of longitudinal bars provided in a column shall be 4 in rectangular columns. Here we have provided 8 numbers so we are safe. The bars shall not be less than 12 mm in diameter. Our diameter is 20 mm more than 12 mm. So here also we are safe. Now let us design the lateral ties. Let us open this code book page number 49. 
the diameter of the lateral ties shall be not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar. We have kept the diameter 20. 20 upon 4, we will get 5 millimeter, and in no case less than 6 millimeter. So the diameter of the lateral ties should not be less than these two. In this case, let us keep the diameter of lateral ties as 8 millimeter. Now let us design the pitch. The pitch of the transverse reinforcement shall be not more than the least of the following distances. The least lateral dimension of the compression member. In our case, both of the lateral dimensions are 500 millimeter. 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal reinforcement bar to be tied. All of the bars in the longitudinal reinforcement has the diameter of 20. 16 into 20, we will get 320, then 300 millimeter. From these three, we have to select the minimum one. 300 millimeter is minimum. So let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 millimeter in the spacing of 300 millimeter. Here you can see the cross section of the column with the reinforcement details. Let us keep the clear cover as 40 millimeter. Let us keep the lateral ties in this way and in this way. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.